They pushed me on and faced me. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Jeff, Frankie, and Sean back again to serenade your ears with tales of stupidity. (laughs) And yes, welcome back, Frankie, from the grips of death. I'm alive. I made how's it. How's your throat? Yeah, how's that herpy uh, on the back of your throat? <laughs> doctor gave me something for it, so I'll be uh, I'll be just fine. Doctor gave mm. you a backyotomy? Mm. I don't know. I've had this shit like fifty times. You know what I mean? So it says eventually it'll kill me. Might be a prop. Hey, you know, at least you got goals to beat right. the, to beat this weird ass shit that happens to your throat once every six months. <clears throat> And, and I honestly didn't even think about it until Jeff said it tonight when he said, you literally went to, I went to the ears, nose, and throat doctor recently before that, like maybe a couple of weeks. Yeah. And to get my yeah, ears clean. It was like clean. five weeks ago, I think. Yeah. And he's like, ah, your throat looks uh, pretty red and raw. And I'm going to give you a Z pack and probably got some kind of infection. I'm like, oh, really? I don't even feel sick. I think and it's then true. he gave me that shit. And then a few weeks later, two, three weeks later, here we are. It must, it must be that new Corona, bro. I'm telling you. I think it's you, just I slept 20 hours a day. That new strain. I figured every I was just going to get vaccine, it early. Every time they got a vaccine, every every time there's every time there's something positive, there's always something else. There's like a mutant strain yeah. that's in Colorado and California, and now it's there's some mutated. other strain. And <laughs> yeah, I wanted to get. We're never going to be able going, to go outside. So I just I got the new virus. Beat that shit, got it out of the way, so now I'm pretty sure I don't have to deal with it for the rest of the year. I don't know how that works, but that's what I'm going to go with. Yeah. Sounds like I'm pretty sure I got it last year when we went to C2E2. Uh, that's, I'm almost 100%. I mean, it was. there's a good opportunity that we did because there was some unhealthy looking motherfuckers walking around that place and they weren't dressed as zombies and they weren't dressed as zombies they were just (laughs) looked like it (laughs) and every time i talk to like those vendors what what was my line what did i say to them keep the vision keep the vision (laughs) never heard frankie say keep the vision in his life keep the vision (laughs) i mean shit i don't think i've ever talked to an artist before in my life but when we were there, every time I would talk to those artists, I'd get like their card and shit, and they were from all over. You know what I mean? Those guys were. And from you kept Washington licking your fingers Florida. every time too, which was really weird. You'd get I the card going. and just be like, keep the vision. <laughs> yeah, <Keep the> vision. <laughs> That's one thing I don't do. I do not put my fingers in my mouth ever. Only in his butt. You know what's crazy though is they say people who chill, chew their nails have a higher immune system. Yeah, because they yeah. keep getting because sh- you're putting funky ass what shit do? in your body. What do you do when you eat fucking I remember, Cheetos? And I think I've even said this before. I don't know. I use a napkin. What, what? do you mean? No, got, I can get all the flavor. He's got an orange when I was napkin. A kid, I mean, look at your hands. Do your hands look very clean right now, Jeff. No, no. I can't. It literally, I cannot get these clean. I have scrubbed these. And you're going to tell me you're going to lick those clean of Cheeto dust. Yeah. Yes, I am. That's why you never get sick and why I always get sick, because I grab a napkin. But you see I these never hands? get sick. Softest hands in the world, baby. No, and I think I've said this. Callous. I literally have dirt inside the crevices that I cannot scrub. <laughs> I need, like, that Gojo. You should try shit. washing them once in a while. Dirt comes off sometimes. I'm just saying. I literally have to, I have to, my hands especially, I have to scrape them with my nail on the other hand. And then. You see like a brush when you get home. Your skin just falls off. I need to go. You know what you should do? You sent me a picture the other day. Hard work. over, Over at Sean's place back in the day when we were partying. And you had on some, I can't fucking believe I hung out with you wearing leather gloves. Yeah. Yeah, you look like the biggest douchebag I've ever seen. You should try wearing gloves at work. It might 
might it might help you. I'm just saying. It might keep hey, your I went hands through Andrew Dice clay phase. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> Dude, both of you guys oh, look like shit. you fucking followed fucking Avenge Sevenfold, like Dude, fucking. Dude, yeah, Frankie and I yes. went through an Avenge Sevenfold phase where he was wearing eyeliner and I had weightlifting gloves on. <laughs> He did not want to fuck with us. We were pretty badass dudes that... All 135 pounds of each of them. Oh, my God. This is our goal, though. Frankie brought up C2E2 and the Keep the Vision. So next year, we're going to say nothing but like fast food slogans to people. All right? I'm loving it. Right. (laughs) Loving it. (laughs) You can have it your way. Oh, hold on. We can get in trouble for this. Like, I, can, uh, can we? I don't know. Who cares? I feel like this is advertising. They should pay us. Fuck. Hey, man, make a run for the border. Ba da ba ba ba. Oh shit! Hey, that's great. I think I said this though before though. Why I never put my fingers in my mouth. Is because I was told when I was a little dude that you think some girl wants you touching her and putting your fingers. So when you, you just got fucking you just, chewed up nails, we just jamming dry fingers into broads. Never. No. I mean, if you can't make a female wet, you're doing something so wrong. If all you're right? eating, if you're eating wings, you would just waste that sauce on a napkin. Are you? Yeah, bro. Off. What do you mean? I got all the sauce I want. I put it on the plate. <laughs> I, I, I mean, what, what kind of what kind of wings are we talking? I got a dry rub on these. Oh, it's it's rubbed. You might as well just eat with gloves on, Frankie. <laughs> right. I mean, it, it's not that. I just don't put my fingers in my mouth. I I, I feel like there's a lot of people that don't do that. I think I, I think you're either. in the minority. You don't, you don't bite your nails, do you? No, I. That's why I have nail no. clippers. Right. Okay. See, but I, I but definitely eat Cheetos and stick my I fingers. Lick in my, my mouth fingers. And get yeah. all the flavor off. Right. Those dirty hands you just showed to the camera. So that's. that's <laughs> When's the last I'm time saying? Jeff's gotten I'd sick? I'd rather not. That's why I haven't gotten sick in ten years. I with you. I think you figured it out. Maybe more people need to start licking their fingers more and. Don't bite your nails, though. It's what, Frank? Gross. You've never, you've never done this. <laughs> <laughs> never done one of these. Never done one of these. Oh, no, no, not that. <laughs> oh shit! So, storming the Capitol, huh? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Are we going right for it? I yeah, I feel like that's one thing I don't even want to talk about. Dude, it's fucking sick. I just it's want to talk. I just want to talk about why was the dude dressed up like a buffalo? Apparently, this dude just travels around the country just dressing like an asshole. Eh, well, he got arrested. Yeah, he's been at other events. He's arrested. That other fucking idiot with the podium and his five kids who's a stay-at-home guy, dad. One of the guys from around doctor. here? I wouldn't doubt I, I, it. I saw something about the no, dude. Was from in all like, honesty, most of the people that got arrested, the one dude was from Arkansas, the one that was on Pelosi's desk. And the most, yeah, of, the other, guy, and the most of the other the people were from Florida. Desk with his feet up. Yeah, that's from Ar- he's from Arkansas, but the most oh. of the people were from Florida. Yeah, the that's videos true. I've seen are some of the sickest fucking things I've ever seen. Mate, it, to, to those people trying to say that they're patriots or they're fucking it idiots. was it was it it's I, I, I'm a, God I don't really have a I have emotions toward towards it, but it's it's hard to ex- express them. I like thought when it was I saw the, the videos, it was, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to be honest. It was like 9-11-esque. I was like, what the fuck? What am I right, watching? It was, right it was disgusting. Our nation's capital. It was like under siege. But terror, by terrorism. And also, though, what the fuck? Why is the capital that easy to break into? Well, they right. shouldn't have been. They should have opened fire on people. In my opinion, they're breaking the they law. Did. They're attacking officers. One one took one in the stomach. One. Yes, yeah, she did. Eventually, yeah. Uh, another and, guy, yeah, 
Okay, to tell you the shape of some of these people, another guy had a heart attack from the flashbang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's a little hard to wait speculate on what you're doing. Wait a minute. I got another one for you. Another you guy yourself. Another guy died by tasing himself, pissed his pants, slipped on the piss, <laughs> fell and cracked his head open, trying to steal a pitcher from the fucking off the wall. You shut your mouth. Swear to yeah. God. And like I said, who knows how much of all this is true? Just the actual vi- right. visuals, the videos that I've seen with my own eyes, the sick fucking things. It's it's literally disgusting. I I understand why they didn't just open fire and shit, but like the one guy that did, I mean th- they came there, they built a a fucking hanging podium, they came there to zip with zip ties. They wanted to they were they were screaming hang fucking uh, pens and shit, and it, it's ridiculous. The, the fact that these people made, made did what they did and made it in there, I I am fucking appalled. So, and I know there's other countries just looking at us laughing, like, look at these dumb fucking Americans. So, nah, you, they can't be called that. You've heard you've heard of herd immunity, obviously, where you know the whole yeah, herd gets it, then they they all get more. You know, this is herd mentality. This is follow that guy. Blindly, just follow, just like the lemmings off a cliff. They're blindly yeah, following. Yeah, it just takes it just takes one, and then they're like, "Fuck it, it's a party." Yeah, it's, it's the as sickest fuck. fucking thing. Yeah, the, people had to lose their life. An officer died. A fucking woman died. I, I'm pretty sure she had kids. I think I heard. I know she was like a 16 year vet in from the army and shit too. Air Force, like and. Yeah, and, and that's that's what their intentions were. Like, that day could have been so... It, it was horrible. It could have been, been so been much worse. so much worse. It, yeah. it's, it's just disgusting. The times that we live yeah. in with the pandemic and everything. I'm sorry, Fuck. but have you seen the Elizabeth from Knoxville? The lady got the interviewer yeah, after she a, got maced. God damn it, was that funny. It was... <laughs> We're starting a revolution. She's like, I, know, I, I got in the door and they maced me. And, and that's the, the thing about it is it's like. You don't know shit. so comical, but I hate to laugh. Like, I right. hate to laugh. Like, this actually happened. This isn't like a Mel it's, Brooks movie. No, I'm telling you. Idiocracy was supposed to be a fucking comedic movie, not a fucking glimpse into the future. Right. Hundred percent. And now I'm like, I want to laugh at this lady, and then I'm just like, Oh, she uh, she actually believes this shit, right? Fucking Christ! <laughs> I came inside the federal building that I'm not allowed in, and they maced me. I've been talking I'm about Tennessee, this for years. Knoxville, See, this, is, this is the problem with the I came here for the stuff. revolution, right? And that lady's gonna be on a juror one day, deciding whether you go to jail or not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like these are people aren't fit. It's the world right now is so black and white, not meaning it that way, but I'm just saying that you're if you're either a Democrat or you're a Republican, but there is no fucking gray area. Right. I love you to death. But when I heard you say you thought Trump was a good president. Oh, my God. I, didn't say I still that. love you. Uh, that's not what he said. That's not what I said. That no, that, that's, his I, I, I said I supported my president. I didn't say he was right. A good and president. in that same breath, you said, "What did Obama do? And what did like Clinton do?" So you, those are your presidents that were your presidents as well. And then you also, I said, "You think that Trump's a good president?" You said, "Yeah." What did Obama do? What, what did these other presidents? Frankie, do? you know, ninety percent of you. that was me fucking riling you the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's fine. I guess, like I said, you have your opinion and your views. You were telling Dude. me about the stimulus bills that why they weren't getting passed and this and that. There was two different bills. You thought it was because of money going to other countries. It was when the other bill was for more money going to other countries. They're all so, going. So that's what I'm saying. Look into I it. I don't care about the politics. Right, me either. But all, that's what I'm saying. I don't care about it. There's a gray area. You say th- certain things and you have certain beliefs. I still love you because there's a gray area. You could like fucking a lot of, you could like wrestling and I still love you. It's okay. 
people Dude. have different point of views on things, and it doesn't have to John be black or white. Wrestling? Get fucked. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There's there's a gray area. You you not when it comes have, not not in this country right now. There is not and, a gray area. And that's the problem with it. And that's, that's what I'm trying to say. It. I'm not putting my views out there because my views don't, mine are mine. I'm well, not pushing my sucks, views like, on you anybody. You have, like, so if I were to say something about Biden, like, I don't like this about Biden, mm-hmm. I'm immediately, Just, someone's going to be like, oh, you for Trump? Like, yeah, I, I no. didn't say that at all. No. I'm just pointing something out. I don't like the way Biden said that. <laughs> right. I don't like just Trump because either, someone likes something. Yeah. No, that's the problem, though, is like you can't say your point of view without somebody immediately saying you're on this side or that side. Like, like you could like tons of different things. It doesn't mean that we still can't be friends, that people are unfriending people that they've known for, for 20 years. That's because they said something. Because. Like, no one talks face to face anymore. I said this. This everyone's week. behind a keyboard hiding. Yeah, I watched telephone tough guy. I I literally was watching two fucking senators go to war with each other on Twitter. This right. shit shouldn't be in Twitter. the public. This, this shit should be behind I, fucking closed doors. Me. This is why I don't go on social media for the last fucking decade. Because all it is is this bullshit of people that are either on this side or that side. You post this because you think it's funny, and then you're a fucking asshole. Well, I just post. I don't really have any view behind it. I just thought it was a fucking funny picture. But everyone has to take it to the extreme, and no one can. Like I said, no one can fucking. Well, just what I'm saying you though, still for who you are. When it comes to governmental matters, do not fucking talk about it on the internet get into a fucking room and have a discussion be a you fucking adult know. why would you do that sean be a fucking 2021 adult, period oh it's easier we'll, we'll do a zoom meeting no fuck your zoom mo- meeting throw a goddamn mask on walk into one of the million fucking boardrooms <laughs> and have a fucking meeting i'm just gonna call you a cunt on facebook and get you all riled up and then Ooh, can't say that word either <laughs> Because you know, so saying, no, that's my favorite word. I can say that if I want. Well, but my favorite thing now Stop too is fucking around, cunt. If I say it in an Australian accent, I think I can get away with it. My favorite thing English. now too is everybody up in arms that, oh, they're censoring Donald Trump by taking. No, Twitter is a fucking public is a private fucking company, and they can take oh kick, <laughs> and they can kick whoever the fuck they want off it. Right, I heard this dumb fucking story. This dude's trying to sue a book company because they won't publish his book. Yeah. I have the, it's their fucking company. It's their company. He's like, the First Amendment, freedom of speech. Yeah, you can say whatever the fuck you want. That doesn't mean that this company that they own has to publish it. Yeah. That's how fucking stupid some of these people are. That's Let me, what I mean. If I, I'm it, a if I walk idiot. into yeah. a store I and I start say saying racial slurs, it, that's it's all in my book that I, I sold to Harper and Williams. But it's their right to be like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So that's what people. People. That's that's why everyone feels that they're fucking entitled. That, that someone owes me. And what have you been seeing all over there? I blame the goddamn participation trophies. Mm-hmm. I I've everyone blamed. Feels that they're entitled to this. Oh, I. No I, one knows I, how to I lose. Feel I should be able to say this, and you can't. No stop one knows me. how to lose. Yeah, you can. Well, no you one. Shouldn't. No one knows how to lose, and this is a fucking perfect example. Jesus. It's like, where do you draw the line, though? I guess. Right I'm, here. And I'm staying I'm on this side of it. Opinion. Not uh, this, uh, this side of the line? <laughs> <laughs> I'm entitled to my opinion, but then you're entitled to your response, right? Yeah. So, like, and then I'm going to get mad at them, and they're getting mad at me, and it's a back and forth, and no one's right, and I'm right, and, and all this bullshit. And that is completely different, like, though, than what happened the other day. What, no. what, what, with them going there with... Molotov cocktails and finding fucking explosive, finding bombs and, and finding fucking people with zip ties and making a fucking noose outside the Capitol, outside our fucking nation's capital. Dude, it's it's unacceptable. It really is. It's well, sad. You know, I've never been more sad. The, like you the, said, watching 9-11 was sad. The picture. I think I was even more sad about this. The picture that fucking 
was the worst yeah, for me. Well, it, it might be sadder because it was like, ah, I don't even want to compare. The, it was our right. only people doing it, you know. I, I, I right. can't say it was sad. It sadder. just hurt me as like an the American picture, as well, but the I hear you. Picture that hurt. It was sad to see. It was really sad to see. The picture mm-hmm. that hurt the worst for me was the idiot with the Confederate flag inside the Capitol building. Right. Oh, my God. That, that, that one... All the other shit, the stupid guy with the fucking bullhorns, the fucking, or the idiot wearing the fucking Camp Auschwitz fucking sweatshirt. Yeah, but Batman was there. Understand, though, you dress like that to get attention, and they got exactly what they wanted. That dude. Son of a bitch. Oh, switch cameras. (laughs) (laughs) Technical technical technical. difficulty. Can't forget it. You know the dude with the saying? fucking he horn, he had a like spear. That. He dressed Jesus. like that to get on TV. And now that all this bullshit happened, he's famous. He got what he wanted. He's in jail now. Everyone knows what his shit, right? And that, I, lo- that I love might seeing be the all these mugshots of these dumb motherfuckers that went home and shaved and instantly looked like someone else. Like, dude, what's crazy, crazy is they're talking about this shit and like. This podcast is fucking up, bro. Sean's camera's not working. I don't even know if we have audio. It's like they know. They know, bro. They're like, these guys are speaking truth about the gray area. We can't have that right now in this world. I don't know. What's Canada? I think I'm going to go to Canada and visit for a while. See what it's like out there. I mean, they have pretty good, so. 99.9% sure. (laughs) Hey, he's back. And that looks even better, dude. It looks clear. Hey. Yeah, well, my fucking dog is getting kicked in the fucking head in a minute. <laughs> Don't be <clears throat> un- un- Right. Dude, everything fucking Poor shut puppers. down on my side. So, I have no is idea. Is the recording still going? No, it fucking Skype shut down. So, I lost the recording the first 17 minutes of the podcast. Which all this- What? I have to edit them in. Well, I'm sure Jeff's still recording. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, not really. The, you hear the echo on my end. This is so going to be one of those video rough on my ones. end, it's going to be a nice little echo. You want to keep rolling? You want to start over? I'm, sh- I'm sure our listeners are fine. I'm, it's, it's I fine. think this is, this is good. We're good. We're fine. We get like two listens. Right. Thank those two people... Thank you. I, I appreciate you listening, thank and you, hopefully Sean, this will help you. And thank you, Sean's mom. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even think she listens anymore, to be honest with you. She's probably like, these motherfuckers are so dumb, I'm so tired dumb. of it. I'm not listening to this But see, today, though, there's actually some truths that are coming out to this. That you can be different and still love each other. Doesn't mean that you have to hate each other. That, that doesn't mean after 20 years of being someone's friend because they don't feel the same way about certain things. You, like I said, you can, might say they're a fucking idiot. I mean, I think you guys are some idiots sometimes, but I still love you and I always will. And that's what friends and family are. They're there for each other through the fucking good and the bad. Fucking idiots. Right now, we're going through some bad, dude. We're going through some bad. But you know what? I mean,. Like, uh, like the dark night, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn. That's right. So hopefully hopefully 2021, I mean, what's that one mean? It's like 2021, like a weekend says, hold my beer. Yeah. Fucking 2020 was bad. Jesus. Pretty much. We got a fucking worse strain or whatever. It's like 70% more. The the worst spreading or virus that's ever been. There's a new one that's seventy percent more now. Why do you think I got it seventy percent faster? I don't think you had COVID faster? that last time. The no, last time I probably for sure had COVID. I've actually been too nervous. I was gonna go to my doctor and do, and which I should, but Just go uh, do the I antibody do the test. Ant- the antibody test, yeah. And then if I yeah, did, you I can even give. Not. Right, I can give uh, plasma. And it could actually help with others and stuff. So I, I probably should go and do that and shit. But, you know, with everything. You I, should. My dad. Your I, your blood. You're sick. Right. All You're the time. Sick. Yeah. It's probably 11 months worse. out of the year. Your blood is weak. 
<laughs> so sus. It's hey, you know, when I was younger, I always thought my blood was so strong it would, like, cure cancer and stuff. Maybe it cures the corona. We don't know. My antibodies might be the fucking antibodies of all antibodies. No, I but don't know, bro. then you get crazy like throat herpes. There's antibodies in there, and they're high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a Hey, coke, bro, you want to fight this smoked. fucking cold off? And they're like, no, nah, bro. Yeah, Frankie. Just chill. In, in all honesty, when, <laughs> when they take your blood, they're going to be like, what is this, Coke? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, definitely Coca Cola. Yeah, <laughs> this fucking guy. Yep. Everyone's like, wait, wait, real Coke? No, just Cola, bro. Just he Cola. Was, he was mostly a B cola. positive, but there's a lot of Coke in here. And not cocaine. We just call him Cola negative. Diet Cola. That's some Never. blood type to have for 2021 is B positive. B positive. Is that what you are? Yeah, I'm B positive. You know what's crazy is I don't fucking remember what I am. Neither do I. No, I'm I'm B positive. I don't know what my Are you type positive? Is. I am B positive. Positive that you're B positive? I'm gonna B positive. <laughs> I might be O. Oh. I'm gonna B positive today. I'm gonna be oh. positive. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm a little giggly because I might have smoked just a little bit for my first time in That's weeks. That's good. You're getting emotional. You're getting fired up. Big Bear's <laughs> got a going to get a Vikings hat and a spear with an American flag on it. <laughs> no. And I'll still love you. John, is that your new Halloween costume? No. Might be. <laughs> if I wanted to dress up like an asshole, I could do that <laughs> better on my own. I was going to say, you do that every day. Yeah. So you don't have to. I don't need. I don't need a costume. I'm an asshole every day. Uh, I was gonna say for next Halloween, I was gonna pull the Adams family one out, and I was gonna no, 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 Wednesday Adams. I was gonna pull Wednesdays out and just go as a psychopath because they just look like everyone else. Yeah, I'm serial killer because they always look like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Not a psychopath, a, a serial killer. Serial killer, you are right. I don't want to quote him and get... Because you're already a psychopath. (laughs) That's for sure. Oh. No, that's it. It's just... (laughs) I don't know. Did we... uh, Did I say it on the first half of this? Uh, Do sluts call their private parts public parts? (laughs) (laughs) Of course they do. I mean, that's... I mean, that makes sense. I mean, you know... Public parts. I mean, would a prostitute be, like, parts for rent? My next year, it should say I love sluts because it's not a lie. But it's all prostitution, isn't it? It is. That's what's crazy about prostitution. I don't prostitution remember paying. Is like, it has you to bought be, dinner, like, didn't you? To what degree? <laughs> so if you were to pick up a hooker on the side of the road and take her to dinner. That's a date. Right. A date. You're like, all right, I'm going to pay you $600 for dinner, and then whatever Fine happens line. afterwards. It is. It's like, that's the only thing that gets squirrely. It's like pussy. Because what do you do? What do you do you in the beginning pussy. to try hey. to get with a girl? Right. You got to fucking take her out to dinner, fucking steak dinner. You drop 100 bucks with some drinks. Frankie, you got to go out to a movie. Frankie, by this that's, logic. Nowadays, that's 100 bucks. Frankie, by right. this logic, you've been with some high paid whores over the last few years. <laughs> high paid whores. I'm grateful, too. We got to go out for fucking steak again. God. Right. No, it was more <laughs> going to the mall and dinner, shopping. Bitching. <laughs> right? Like, you. We go out to fucking Texas Roadhouse every week. Sorry, I thought you liked those rolls and steak dinners, but we can just fucking stay home. And then I get fucking ice cream, and I'm a dickhead. You got me ice cream? You're a son of a bitch. Well, ice cream's delicious. Right? It is. I'm DQ all the way. If anyone says they want fucking that 31 flavor bullshit, Keep it moving. I'll unfriend you. You like the soft serve over the fucking hard scoop. Yeah, I do. Soft serve. He likes soft serve ice cream over there. Do you like Cold Stone over Baskin Robbins? 
Those are kind of like the same, but I would say Cold Stone over Baskin Robbins. Cold Stone is like a cake batter mix. Yeah, yeah they do the. It's a thicker. It's almost like a custard. I'm fine with cheap ice cream. Yeah, McDonald's. What's cheap ice cream? McDonald's and uh, Dairy Queen. It doesn't matter. You shut Cold your dirty Stone's like mouth. fancy. Once I see, I'm chopping it Animal up like Cracker I'm at the Blizzard's fucking. Animal uh, Cracker the greatest thing I've ever had. Oh, I see him chopping it up like horrible. I'm at a fucking hibachi grill. Have you ever oh been God. to a hibachi grill? Yes, I have. Really? I have not. Something we should do in 2021. One. Actually, 2022. I want to do a Brazilian steakhouse. <laughs> oh, no, no. I've been to Why one Brazilian? of those. They got good steaks? Dude, do you not remember this, Jeff? It's You have a card that's either green or red. And you leave it on the green, and they come over and just keep cutting hunks of meat off for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's where they bring the... Yeah. The, the, all right, cool. Cool with that. Do you, do you remember to, uh, when we went with a couple pot. girls? Weiss, do you remember where? going with a couple girls to a, a grill, whatever it is, what you just call it? Um, a Brazilian steakhouse? Manuelian, Brazilian Steak place or whatever. Uh, we went to a place. Uh, yeah, yeah. We we went and got McDonald's. We dude, they were so fucking pissed. Well, they they go to where they where they go? Was it Who Hot or something like that? It was something like that. We walk in there and it was like a build your own and it was packed and it looked like shit. I didn't want any of it. I'm a picky eater, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. So we hung out though. We had a nice. So we go up in there and they're like, "We want this place," and we're like, "All right, cool." I don't know why they were so mad because they got it. Right, they got it. We had dinner there. We didn't really enjoy it. Afterwards, we hit a McDonald's on the way home and grabbed the couple them. We drive. We we walked in there and said, "This ain't for us." (laughs) They ordered. We left them. All right. <laughs> then, then they totally have, they have more of a reason. They have a reason to be pissed. pissed all right, yeah. We're like, all right, we out. We'll be right back. <laughs> you went to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, we're a couple of assholes then. Oh, that's though. fucking hilarious. You want me to lie? See, like, if if, no, we, I... if we ever went to, like, Benny Hanna or something, I think Jeff would be all right because there's steak and shrimp and he can run with that well dude yeah i've, I've been to uh, <clears throat> kibachi grills and shit yeah shrimp fried rice yep chicken fried can't rice. go wrong i had that tonight there's a new What's china up? place chinese place over here that i tried and it is fucking out of this world next to that lumel nadis over on 45 and let me tell you it's real Losing good. getting i don't give a fuck if they put a Titty bar Chinese food restaurant <laughs> next to Lou Belnati's. I walk right past that bitch going to lose. I know it is. It is hard. I usually I love, go when I get I Chinese and lose the, the next day. I'm missing out on a lot of shit. Yeah, food especially. Yeah, right. Lou I had a, I mean, you a New Year's fire. resolution a couple years back that was uh, I wasn't gonna say no to trying anything new. So like, if you someone's like, "Oh, you be about this with Jim Carrey," really? Yes, man. Oh yeah, yes, yes man. man. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I did that for a year. I tried all this. Like, you know, you never ate fish before. I was like, "No, nah, I'm not a fish person." Oh, you got to try this. Uh, this uh, cod, bro. This cod fish is fucking where it's yeah, at. I'm like, nah. cod is a white fish that's basically flavorless that has a little fish flavor to it. That's, so it's probably that's why like, they would say for me to try it. And yeah, cod, remember like sell, 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 is it salmon or salmon? Salmon. Or, wait, salmon. Salmon. <laughs> I, I'm not a salmon. Are fan. you sure? It's salmon. Yeah. It's a hundred percent salmon. Salmon. It's it, it, it's right not pronounced the way it's it's sell. Uh, <laughs> not salmon. It's salmon. All right. Look at those dirty hands, Jesus. Callous, bro. I don't just know what me. I do. <laughs> I know what to get you for your birthday. It looks like you lit your need, fucking like, hands paper. on fire. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I He's a working my, man. My hands, bro. Long, long years. Long years. Long time, gentlemen. You mean driving the forklift? 
Uh, Long time you drive the truck? Oh. Dude, you know I got the best traps in the game, bro. I've been lifting doors for fucking 15 years. You are traps. Your traps on rep. Your fucking alien stomach are insane. Yeah, and you wonder why that fucking tricep's been fucked up for 30 years. Yeah. (laughs) Because not only am I going to carry this door from A to B, I'm going to pump the whole way going from A to B. Just think if I had two triceps. Just think of how many people that got paid to work out all day, bro. I Consider get, yourself lucky. That's how I get paid. I lift shit all day. That's why I Do fucking, lift shit all day? I feel yes. sorry for you. I stink. <laughs> Turd. One one by <laughs> one. Log, just log jamming them down a the road. They give you a shovel, right? No, yeah, bare hand that some... shit. I like getting bare in there. Handed. Gotta get in there. I was prepared. Pretty savage. Gotta get in there. Nice to get, get in there. Like. Nice. Bro. I seen the I'm greatest. Back. You know on commercials where it has do not attempt? Yeah. No one will ever top this. <laughs> so there's two people on a moon rover bouncing along. And they go off this cliff. Mind you, they're on the moon. On the moon. Moon rover. All right. Bouncing around. They go off a cliff. Do not attempt. No. <laughs> hey, man, you never know. You might be driving that rover around the moon every so, sometime. <laughs> if anyone's ever on the moon. Don't attempt to jump over craters. Don't jump just, off a cliff on the moon. So what about these guys? Rover. I just watched the video of him snowboarding off a mountain. Then he pulled a parachute. Didn't say do not attempt. What if I go and try that? Is this guy's fault? You can sue him. Oh, you oh, know, man. there was those guys in Kenosha that used to work at Texas Roadhouse with us that were stealing, uh, breaking into cars and shit, and the kid blamed it on Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Legit. That was Legit- his legitimately or- blamed it on Grand Theft Auto. Ooh. I was playing Grand Theft Auto for 10 to 15 hours a day, and it just made me think that was the real world. I just, I, 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 I was in virtual reality it. for 12 hours a day, and I didn't think that, that was the real world. You know, yeah, well, you're not a fucking like? brainless idiot like this kid was. Dude, I'm fucking dumb. That's what scares See, me. Wait a minute. I'm dumb. Wait, the difference is. You know is, how fucking is, stupid there are people in the world? Like, you're, you're dumb, but you're. You have common sense. There's difference. Yeah, there's difference. a difference. It's I can't read a book. Can't read a book. To storm the capital. But, but you, but you know not to fucking try storming the fucking capital. <laughs> like there's area not gonna 51. be a consequence. People would have got way more fucked up if they would have tried to do that in Area 51. Whenever that guy was saying to storm Area 51 and see the aliens. Yeah. Well, let me bring more it down to you. People got fucked up then. Wouldn't the capital be harder to break into than Area 51? Did you think that? <laughs> They let them fuckers in. I don't give a fuck what anybody Dude. says. They let them in. I don't know. I'll, it was weird I'll send though, you a when video the, of them I not saw the letting video them of in. them uh, crushing a man in a doorway. Yeah. That's one doorway. Why? Dude, hence, I hear there's a lot. There's a lot of windows that were shattered through yeah. and people jumping through too. So There was but, an overabundance yeah. of homeless looking motherfuckers in there too. I mean, like some of those of pictures, them motherfuckers were making 20 bucks from somebody. Probably yeah. had a whole f- fucking pocket full of nickels from uh 100%. It was like, remember the movie Dirty Work, where they're sitting outside? Um, they got fired from the like, dude's fucking, they're all bums now. They're sitting outside. They're like, here's your dollar for you to go run around in there and make a mess. That's what they no, fucking I, did for a lot of those I don't people. remember this movie. You don't remember Dirty Work with Norm MacDonald and Artie Lang? Where they start the revenge business? Oh, it's such a good no. movie. Where he's driving in the car and he's mooning people. Yeah, at the movie And the, the dude the just movie stops line. the car and gets out. <laughs> and the dude who is mooning people has to get out of the car. And he's like, he's supposed to keep driving. Like, he was supposed to keep driving. <laughs> Chris Farley I got. Remember that part. Chris okay, Farley okay. got his nose bit off by a Saigon whore. Yes, so, yes, I do remember this movie. Yeah, now. okay. That, movie. Vaguely though, I remember these parts, but vaguely. Dude, dirty. I remember work when Jeff there. would do that to me. Pull my window Ooh, down and lock it. 
Artie Lang. Sorry, yeah, Artie Lang and Norm MacDonald. Artie Lang and Norm MacDonald. And then what was it? Screwed was Artie Lang or uh, Norm MacDonald and Dave Chappelle. Oh yeah. You can't forget about Danny DeVito. Oh my god, his collection of shit pulled out of people's asses. <laughs> that movie. <laughs> that that it's crazy scene. you find it. Yeah. Man. This guy was brushing his hair and whoop, whoop, where to go? <laughs> <laughs> that shit uh, was fucking. That's another funny. good one. Yeah. Danny DeVito is still fucking kicking ass. Right? Murder. Is outstanding. Jesus. Danny DeVito has done some great work. Just watched him in Batman. God was he I, doing that. I was watching that too. I watched I a documentary on it. Drink a water. They had uh, the first Batman, Batman Returns. They had like the whole Tim Burton lineup playing on one of these shows. Tim Burton, so good. He was. It's been a lot of good classics I've been seeing on TV as of late for the holidays. People home. I don't I think it's for the holidays. It. I think it's just because people are fucking still stuck at home. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's no holiday <laughs> to do with it. Can't wait to just go out and be free. <sighs> I want to be free. Yeah. That's why I'm so excited to go ride the Groms this year. Just yeah, to go out and just ride on. And right, I can social mask. distance and just kick it. <laughs> have you a ma- have, have a, a mask thing? on and socially distant. You should have all got uh, those helmet fucking comms. Thank you can just rode and talk. I don't know. My exhaust is really loud. I probably wouldn't be able to hear it. I enjoy it. Like, if I'm riding, I just want to ride. <laughs> right. I don't want to talk to you. Just, think, yeah, just, just want to feel the wind in your hair. In your fucking hey, hair. bro, your butt looks really good. Hey, man, your ass is <laughs> hanging out of them jeans. It's getting me all riled up over here. But then you, you ride a bike with a my, chubby. You can tell me when my turn signal's still on. That one time I tried to like get up next to you, and I was gonna try to fix it, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna fucking hit him. I'm gonna hit him. I know it. Yeah, reach <laughs> over and hit his fucking turn signal like an <laughs> asshole. When you could just pull up next to him and be like, shut your turn signal off. Yeah, I I, I, I usually would. I'll turn his bike off while he's riding. Right. I don't want to get close enough. He'll hit my kill switch. (laughs) Son of a bitch. I do that shit all the time. I can just (laughs) hit someone's kill switch and take off. (laughs) Fucking dick. Yeah, I can't wait for Road America. You got to be on the grounds up this year. I'm just ready for 2021. And it's in, started out the best, but oh, it I, has feel like, I feel like we well, can come just, through this together. Right. Let's just get the bullshit out of the way now. We've seen some bad things. Now let's make the best of it. Let's ELE. Everybody love everybody. Fucking do something nice for someone else tomorrow or today. Fuck it. Dude, I, I did mean, already. Ooh. You, you want to share hear my story? Glass, yeah, yeah, I'll please. share with the class. So I went to the uh, local grocery store today and uh, used my mom's car. I put all my groceries. I had a cart. I go out to the parking lot. I put all the groceries in my car, brought my cart back. I started walking out, and a lady just finished putting her last grocery in her car. So I said, I'll take your cart. I had now a, that was sweet of you. What did you have on? I didn't finish the story. <laughs> I was just commenting how sweet that was. I had a orange, bright orange, jumpsuity type sweater on from mm-hmm. work. So you looked like a convict, okay? So I looked like I worked there. So she's like, "Oh, thank you." So I grabbed her cart and I put it in there and I put it in the cart corral and then I walk back and get into my car. And I go to back up, and she rolls down her window. She's like, oh, my God, I thought you worked here. Thank you so much. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, because you had your, your uh, high-vis vest on, basically? <sighs> Pretty much. Your high-vis, but it was your awesome. high-vis hoodie? It was awesome that she took the time. Like, she thought, she was like, oh, he works here. Thank you. Thank you, young man. Yeah. Oh, he and works I here. I got my car, and she literally rolled down her window. She's like, oh, my God, I thought you worked here. 
<laughs> so that was a good feeling. I do like right. I was gonna say, how good did that make you feel? But you didn't do it to make yourself feel good. You no, did, I it just did it as a nice it. gesture. Like, yeah, I, I and, do and that it's even shit nice that she then you know complimented you for it to be like, wow, you didn't. But it was here. awesome that she like took the time out to like acknowledge Stop, yeah. that. And then. Oh. And then she asked him who he voted for and got real lippy with it. Yeah. <laughs> Gave him the finger That's and the, took off. You know what? That's the <sighs> thing in all of this. I, I keep thinking about in my head, if, let's say you're, you, Sean, you talked about the teams, right? Right versus left, blue yeah. versus red. If a dude in a mega head is drowning, I'm going to save him. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, because you're a good human being. Right. Obviously, that's, from your story. That's a right lot there. of, I feel like a lot of these people would be like. No, the problem is, is everybody would be like this. Hey, look at that guy drowning. Right. right. And that's what's so, oh my God, it's so fucking but that's, sad. That's part of our generation, too, because yeah. when, something, when something happens like that, that I see. Pulling my phone out doesn't even cross my mind. I just no. watch it and I was like, oh shit. I've seen like trucks on fire, like on the side yeah. of the highway. Like I drive all day, so I'm like, I see a bunch of crazy shit. Pulling my phone out is like the last thing the I'm The last thought, of. right. No, if you're pulling right. your phone out, it's to switch the podcast. Right. And then I it's... come home and I'm like, guess what I saw today? I don't <laughs> post it on YouTube. I'm just like, I tell you guys, like, bro, you're not going to believe this. For sure. And we've all probably done this, but at the same time, it's so stupid when you go to a restaurant and you get dinner and say, oh my God, this looks so good. Hold on. And you pull your, just fucking enjoy it. Like, now don't get me wrong. Sometimes you get like some fucking plate that's built like a fucking card house of waffles and it's on fire. It it really has to impress me. If I go get like a. Yeah, if you go to Chili's, I'm not taking a picture of my fucking plate. If you go get, like, a Bloody Mary and they're stacking, like, 12 cheeseburgers on it and yeah. a bunch of pickles, I'll take a picture. Take of a it picture, yeah. Like, be like, hey, Holy you should shit. try this. But I'm not taking a picture of my fajita. And, and yeah. Chili's like, come check this shit out, bro. I bro, you should totally. You, we went to this place. <laughs> we went to this place, bro. It's new. It's called Chili's. <laughs> you ever hear of it? Bro, we went to this fucking awesome steakhouse called Outback. Bro. They got like an onion that's like fried. Bro, you You never had onion rings? Jesus. You listen to Chili's, but have you ever like heard Chili's? (laughs) 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 Yeah. That shit sizzles, bro, when it comes to your table. Hey, I want to say, though. I think it was really awesome what you did for that older lady with the cart. There, there needs to be more smaller gestures like that in life to just, it's, it, it did nothing to you is any kind of inconvenience. You took 30 seconds out of your day, but I bet you made her day. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I bet you that her seeing that act of kindness, I bet you, she paid it forward in some way, whether it was something small Seeing, you know, a mother trying to get it's, her kid and open the it door was or something. Awesome and, too. Just the acknowledgement that she gave me when yeah. she realized that I didn't actually work there. Yeah. Right. Like, she was probably like, yeah, take my cart. He's got an orange right. fucking safety vest on. Well, yeah. I've, <laughs> I've gra- you know, grabbing the cart is one of those things I just do. You know what I mean? Like, when I you went see to Walmart someone finish the other their day. shit up. Right. I went, I went I to Walmart it. the other day. Oh, sorry, Sean. Go ahead. No, I was just saying, I just grab it and put it back. Like, if I if I get done loading my truck up with my food and someone else next to me got done, I'm just like, here, Grim, give me your cart. Right. Double it up. They go into each other. I don't or know if they're know. going into the store here, take mine. Yeah. Like, that well, type of shit. Well, that's like if you go to Aldi's, you got to put the quarter in the cart to get the cart out. So you, it yeah. gives you the incentive to return it. You don't. If you just take your key and put the back of it in, you don't have to Damn pay, it, bro. <laughs> but, I don't understand that shit. You get the quarter back. What are you doing? It's well, just a, it's a little things. So like I, I went to Walmart the other day and I parked in the back. We're walking towards the front. This guy's parked in the handicap stall. He's got this cart and he's got 
two huge fucking items. And he is struggling. Now, I could have just walked inside, but mm-hmm. I stopped and I was like, you need help? He's like, oh, that would be awesome. Like, grabbed yeah. the fucking thing out of his cart. I threw it in his back seat, shut the door, and he he couldn't have been happier. Like, that's the thing we're missing. Fuck yeah. storm now, in the fucking Did, did you, building. you were alone? Fuck all the bullshit. No, I was with, I agree with, I was with my lady. I was walking inside. With, with your lady and the kids? No, just me and my lady. Okay. Now, I do wish the kids were there because that's the type of shit that a dad does that shows his kids. It's common decency. The right way. It, it is, but there's right. a lot of people that don't. And especially, well, and I can understand it dad, like now more than ever with the corona and shit. People don't want to. What's crazy ugh. is that the gesture, uh, what Sean just said, it's common decency. But it's like, it's not anymore. No, it's like it's like know, it's people some, look at you funny it, doing it. It's some little kid pulling out his videotaping this guy struggled to get the box out of the cart instead of right just walking around laughing at him. Right, instead of being like, "Hey, sir, can I help you?" He will literally videotape it. Look at this fucking guy struggling for a half hour to pull this out of his cart and instead of just, "Hey, sir, can too, I?" Man. <laughs> right, that's what it's come to though. You ever We're feel storming like, the like, capital the times building. That you, you fuck up. Like, all right, so sometimes when you do a good thing, you feel bad because you might have, like, made them fuck up or do something else. So, like, I went to uh, Dunkin' Donuts a couple weeks back, and, like, I was in line for, like, a long time, and I was, like, sitting there and blah, 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 and there was one car behind me after, like, the whole, and I was even thinking, like, like man, like, look at this guy. Like, he gets behind me now. I'm the only guy in front of him. I just waited for, like, 10 cars, like, you know, this and that. And I get up to the window and I'm like, hey, can I pay this guy's? And then someone like pulled in behind him and I was like, I wonder if he bought the next person's. Probably and I bought not. his and it was like How four hours. Right. What if the next person behind him was like the dude that was there on his on the work order? Like, hey, go get fucking coffee for everyone and dozen donuts. Did this guy's like, can I pay the, for the this guy paid for mine? Can I pay for the person behind mine? And they're like, yeah, thirty six fifty. He's like, fuck, mine was four dollars. Like, did I make him buy for the next person? Where Jeff's he gets had that happen. <laughs> That's been a topic Literally, on the pod. That was our fourth podcast was paid forward. I think, I, or was it our second podcast? Yeah, the lady at the Taco Bell shit, paid for paid for my order, and then I ended up paying for the guy behind me, which was way more expensive than mine. <laughs> yeah, I do remember this. Now that you jogged it a little. See, yeah. I just need a little warm up here. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what the cause of that is, but it was worth it. <laughs> THC, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Pay it forward, man. That's all. I'm all about paying it forward. Right now. I'll tell you what, though. Right now, I am like up here because of that CHT. THC. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I was way up there last night. I really well, yeah. do hope, though, that somebody that okay. he listens to this does something nice today. For someone I hope else. So. All right. Whether it's even We're gonna challenge car. everybody. Challenging you. One do good something deed. Nice for someone else tomorrow. One good deed. Tomorrow. One next good week, deed. Next month doesn't matter. Do something positive for somebody. Right. Speaking even of, if it's telling your lady that she looks good, and even though her butt does look big in those jeans. You know that used to be a thing. Do, no, she, honey, your butt don't look fat in those. What? Now, I'm now, trying to get this. Thing. Now she's like, "What do you mean my butt don't look fat, <laughs> motherfucker?" Right. Better look fat. Better, oh, shit. I got my fucking lifting drawers on. My cheeks are oh, up. Yeah. Some of these leggings are absolutely insane. Yeah. So, Frankie, are you? I know. Sean and I kind of talked about our resolutions in 2021. Are you? You going through? What do you What do you got planned? I know you talked um, about deleting your shit. I was kind of pumped about it. You're like, I'm gonna delete all my shit, start fresh. Yeah, Facebook. and I feel like I mean, I haven't been on Facebook or any of those things in years. Are you gonna start like, fresh? Oh, Don't disappoint me now. What's going on? I mean, I could. I, I there's like 500 people on there. I have no fucking clue who they are. Well, you were talking about that. You're like, oh, these people are just commenting and saying shit. I have no idea who they are. Right. I got actually a message 
from last week asking how I felt. I don't know who the fuck she was. Uh, she was a friend on Facebook. I, I'm on messenger. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm okay. You're sick. Bro. Feels I weird. guess there was some dirty picture on there of my throat that what? I sent you guys. What? <laughs> that's not, that really that wasn't my throat. I just Googled that. Let's just be serious. <laughs> Googled bad throat. I, I do, I do feel up. like, though, it was from smoking a bowl and a cherry pop through. Scooby snack? And I got Scoobies, and it just stuck to my little fucking dang it a dang it a dang it a dang That and, looked like a canker sore, dude. Right, and then it, like, turned into, like, a canker sore and shit. But, like... Shit when is- that first ha- like I was sick, Shit. and then Gargled that with salt like water. I mean, yeah, that I use the stuff called uh, I think it's like Lipton. No, that's a fucking tea. That's Lip-Do. yeah. I use Lipton it's iced Lip-Do. tea to gargle with. <laughs> it's called Lipto. It's like an an acid. They call it miracle mouthwash. Yeah. Salt water. Mar- miracle. I did use salt water. Mar- miracle. Mir- America. Like America. 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 It's a miracle. America. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. You never see miracle on ice? Shit. <laughs> oh my God. And this mouthwash is fucking I phenomenal. So, yeah, that saved. It was like from a, a order when I had my tooth pulled a couple of years ago. And I had like literally, I don't know what the, I think it's Novocaine, with the shots doesn't really numb i mean it numbs but it doesn't like take away the pain hey man i, I thought, have a tooth pulled i thought you had that mouthwash where you drank the three gallons of orange juice in fucking a day and a half so the first time that i ever I'm make a drink guys i'll be right back quickly it's empty and i gotta pee be quick about it jesus Talk amongst yourselves. Just Tell go. Them, like, a couple of years back. Frankie's got I a 10-minute story tooth here. Tooth. You can take your time. <laughs> <laughs> and this tooth was, it was a real bad tooth. I wanted to pull it for a long time. And for them to, like, pull it out, they had to cut my gums and shit. Yeah. So it was like an oral surgery, they called it. And when they did it, I got literally, like, seven shots in, like, the roof of my mouth, in my gums, into my cheek, and like he, he just yeah. kept like pokes, 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 mm-hmm. pokes. I'm like Jesus. Well, after that, those like all turned to like canker sores like the next day. And I was like, oh, I called the dentist. I'm like, it's fucking excruciating. And he's like, well, we use this mouthwash and stuff. I'll you know call a prescription in. So that was the first time I ever used it. And it like, like I said, the roof of my mouth was like riddled with them, and my cheek and my gums. And it like took care of them like two three days. Like better than like salt water, and not only that, it like numbs it and shit. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was awesome. And then yeah, I got sick like a year or so ago, whatever. And with being sick, I just drank two gallons of Simply Orange in like a day time, in like two days, you know. And yeah, my I had so much acid that I had a bunch of like canker sores again from that. And I called my doctor and told him what I did, and he, you know, of course, he's like yeah. fucking idiot. But I told him what medicine I used from the dentist's office, and I was mm-hmm. wondering if I can get that. And, like, I've always had, like, a kind of a cool doctor, even though, like, now that my other one retired. He gives me drugs without seeing me. <laughs> I just call him, and he, which I'd, I'd rather yeah, not his, say, like, who my doctor is, I feel like, right now. But Frank, Frankie's like, doctor a has a black leather jacket on at all times and works <laughs> yeah, behind a Costco. And- <laughs> <laughs> works out of his van behind a Costco. So, yeah, he hooked it up, and he just ended up uh, calling me in the prescriptions and stuff. And uh, so I had that one still. <laughs> and uh for I those who are listening, it. Jeff is now pouring a fifty fifty fifty. So you had your prescription, re- you had a refill. Yeah. And I just looked at the bottle and it did it said one refill on it. So I I went on my, my phone into my Walgreens and I I submitted it through to refill it and it fucking went through. So I went and picked it up and it they cleared up in a couple of days, so that was awesome. But I mean, so yeah, if you ever have something like that, you don't know what to do. Lipto, pretty sure it's called Lipto. I'm wondering what's Not in like it. Crazy. I'm well, wondering what, like what's, it's, like what's all in there. 
Right. It, it has to be made by a special pharmacist. It's not just like some shit that they have there. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have to actually make it. So, like, a lot of the times, like, I'll call them, and, or when I we had to pick it up, they're like, uh, yeah, I'll be ready at 4. I'm like, cool. And then I go there at 4. They're like, uh, be ready at 5. Motherfuckers, you said, oh, my God, whatever. I'll be back at 5. I come back at 5. They're like, um, actually, that needs to be made by a specific pharmacist. He's not here until night. The one time I was in so much pain, I was like, what time does he start? Stop putting your fingers in your mouth, Jeff. Yeah, he stirs drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stirs drink with his dirty ass finger. After he got to, after, after he got to taking a piss and not washing his hands. That's why I don't get <sighs> sick, bro. That's where all the flavor is. There's the I flavor. <laughs> so yeah, it's some good shit though. I'll tell you what, you ever have a, a mouth issue? Lipto Miracle Mouthwash. See? PSA learning channel. Fucking or helping the public. If you're gonna take, if you're gonna start taking vitamins, you know, I get when you buy them. What kind of vitamins? You gotta actually take them. <laughs> I know. Frankie's it, got it forty-eight say- bottles of vitamins. He just looks at him. He goes, "Yeah, I had one today." <laughs> Doesn't. You know, I even tried doing the um, like gummies and shit. I got like I forget what they're what brand it is, but like they're like the men's multivitamin. And then there's one for like energy. And then there's one for like stress. One for like, uh, <laughs> uh, fuck. There's some Frankie, other ones. Frankie uh, spent six hundred dollars on focus. vitamins that have oh, dude, it that, was are way more that. that are still in the box that are still in the boxes at the house. Dude, well past their expiration like some date. Kind of experimental trial. I, I thought you know it'd be cool. Like I'll get up in the morning and I'll eat like ten gummy bears for breakfast. That only lasted like a week. 10 gummy bears. I'm telling you, man, that focus one, focus. It, was, it, it make you focus for it sure. It was probably the stress five one, HTP. See, you know what they actually are. I call them, I call them focus gummies. I, I do know because I, the vitamin, vitamin regimen I'm on right now is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I remember you used to have that like fucking pill crusher. You'd die crushing them up as shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You ever you ever power hoof a fucking one a day? <laughs> I just don't fuck you up, bro. You want to talk about energy? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers don't know shit. That vitamin about C, this energy. That vitamin C burns like a motherfucker, but goddamn, <laughs> ups your immune system. Not too much though. All right. PSA, PSA. Oh, dude, my my vitamin regimen right now is fucking ridiculous. It's fucking two one a days, two vitamin D's, two saw palmettos, a fucking zinc <laughs> tablet. Wait a minute, hold on. What the fuck? Hold on. Can we just think about what you just said for a minute? Two one a days. <laughs> two one a days. Yeah. <laughs> Because because if you read Which the back of the package, the no, because if you read the back of the package, it's it goes by oh. weight. I need two. Oh, you actually read them? Yeah. Read the instructions. So yeah, I do two one days, through? two saw palmetto, two fucking vitamin D, one zinc because the one days have zinc in it. Well, if one's good enough, then two's got to be banging. <laughs> right, even uh, better for you. A, <laughs> I do a probiotic, and if I can get it, I do a 5-HTP. Jesus. See, I haven't, like, given a in. Fist, and oh, in and, uh, I feel like when you start taking vitamins, you're you're admitting you're old. You're like, I need vitamins every day now. Multivitamin. Yeah, well, Frankie, <laughs> you're sick constantly, bro. You go outside for I, three- I need to get it. What regiment? Write this shit down. Text it to me. Let me, let me see. Two one days. Just one-a-days. take two one a days, bro. I'm fucking up. Just I'm take two one a days. You only take one. <laughs> <laughs> By a day, they mean. <sighs> like 12 hours, right? Yeah. Christ. Because I'm only up for like 12 hours of the bro, day. Bro, I mean, I'm fucking. That's it? I'm big, dude. I need to fucking hammer down them vitamins like that. Dude. I see it with your gallon water. Like, most people just get, like, a regular water bottle of water. You got a fucking old yeah. gallon. Yeah, well, 
look look at you fucking mister let me kill some more fucking sea life with your fucking millions of bottles of water when i'm drinking out of a single gallon fool how, how do you know that i don't recycle these bottles how do you because that recycling don't go recycling we all know that <laughs> they don't recycle <laughs> shit it all goes right to the garbage dump i have a yeah. close family member that works at the garbage dump pushing all that it's shit called waste management all right fucking <laughs> just pushing that shit under the ground and he don't even recycle i'm like where's your recycling he's like all goes the same place bro <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, too shit. See, yeah. it's so when you get like um you ruined it for me. Like a six pack of beer. And you got the fucking little plastic six things. Packs. You what cut you them up. What is that an appetizer? <laughs> it's an appetizer for the road, you know? Shit. <laughs> no. It's 30 pack or bust. Yes, I do <laughs> cut them up. Like... I do cut up the plastic. Do you do the little ones, like the little the little diamonds and the ones in the middle? Do? Yeah. You got to because then they get the little turtles with their heads in them. Aww. See, you know what's funny is uh, those six pack holders. You're not supposed to pull them off like that. That little tab at the end. You're just supposed to rip it, and it rips off there, and it opens up all the ones holding the cans. Oh, what? Nah. Yeah, I just found that out. <laughs> I'm doing it all right. I do love that. Like the internet's good for like those type of things where it's like <laughs> life hack shit that you're like. I've been doing it wrong my whole life. I had no, I can't think of one of them right now, but any of them that were actually beneficial or useful. Like if you take a but pint glass, in there. like the glass the top of on. a soda can, the, yep. the pop top, you turn it to the side as a straw holder. There's that. Right. Yep. Like what? Damn, I never would have tunk it. Why, why is there the hole in the fucking box for fucking uh, your chicken McNuggets? Straw goes through there, so it holds onto the straw, and you can have the sauce cup too. Right, like that way I could drive and eat and drink yep. all at the same time. Yep, <laughs> multitasking. <laughs> but yeah, multitasking. I got I got my cell phone in one hand. I got my fucking drink with McNuggets on the other. I'm knee I'm kneeing it. With the fucking steering wheel. Super safe. Uh, don't do that. Drive safe, need, people. Do we need to put a disclaimer, Jeff? Can you add a disclaimer on there, please? I don't want to get sued. Do soon. not attempt. <laughs> don't drive your moon rover off a cliff. Oh shit! When you're on the moon, that'll be Shoot a, that'll the be a moon. good uh, good name for this episode. Do not attempt. Do not we're attempt. We're fucking some idiots. There's, dude, it's just ridiculous now. The stupid that fucking. They maced me. Get your shit together. I thought you were going to... We're starting right. a revolution. I thought we were talking about how ridiculous the internet it is. Because I remember when it used to be just... The internet's fucking, great. It's I had to wait fucking three minutes for a fucking picture to load. And it'd be... Just to see that one oh, nipple. There's a shoulder. There's a shoulder. Right? So it got down to her titties. Wait, never mind. That's not what I did. <laughs> That's wrong. What are you talking about? Bro, remember, remember, remember when you had to kick channel. you off? Oh, what the fuck? I was about to remember the spice pitch. channel would come in. Remember when you had a right, print out direction? You get an elbow. One little nipple. It was an elbow, bro. I'm telling you. It wasn't a nipple. Nah, it was a dick. <laughs> remember when you had to <laughs> print out directions me. from my. Uh, from, How was your you leg know? bent like that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh who had a black box when they were growing up? I didn't. I was broke. <laughs> I, 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 what do you mean a black box means it was free? You didn't have to pay for it. I didn't even have a black box, bro. Had the I had bullets. Nothing. I had the rabbit ears. <laughs> I had the bullets. Go get the tinfoil. Get the tinfoil. Stay yeah, a little you, more to your left. When you never had cable and you go over to your buddy's house that did have cable, you're like, oh, it's a whole new world. What the fuck is the this? Oh, new Smurl. I don't want to get copyrighted for you. Mean, minutes, yeah. You mean there's a. Go over to your friends oh. and get HBO. You're like, what the fuck is happening? Imagine the first time someone went over there, like, God, what's Netflix? What? 
You're streaming movies? I just, you're like, bro, I'll give you my password. I re- <laughs> right. Dude, I remember you're when watching. Netflix came out and Everyone it was... Everyone just gave away their passwords. Every, when, Net, oh. when Netflix first came out, it was just mail order movies. Right. Oh, that's right. You could still get a DVD. Beam the other day. Oh, it wasn't the other day, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. When Netflix <laughs> upped their prices, it was like, oh, Netflix went to twelve ninety nine a month, and it was some random dude, and he's like, I hope the guy who's paid for this can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> In all honesty, everybody's man. on somebody else's account. Well, now they upped it so much that you could just have unlimited users, it says. Yeah. So it's like, I could just give it to my whole family? Netflix. Is that a thing? Netflix yeah. is... is... You can, on the basic the basic format, you can have four users, yeah. right? Or is it two? And you have to upgrade to four. Yeah, you got to upgrade to four. I mean, shit. Sometimes I watch Netflix on my phone. Sometimes I watch it... In the basement on one TV, maybe I watch it in the basement on the other TV. You got the premium. <laughs> maybe I watch it upstairs. That's, in the that's room. what I got. I got. I maybe know I, I have premium. In the living for room. A fact. I know everybody that's on mine though. Do my daughter and the got Piper her own is calling. profile? Her own profile. Yeah, she told is me that today. Unicorns. Oh, she is so man. pumped. Oh, she, pumped. she probably feels so like old. She she my own that was Netflix who profile. called everybody today. Give me your phone. I'm calling <laughs> everybody. I got my own Guess Netflix. What? Profile. I got my own Netflix profile. What do you think the kids would do if you made a phone call to kick them off the internet for their movie, their game? <laughs> See, they you wouldn't have to worry about that. They'd be watching fucking DVDs, right? No, Just got enough Blu-rays. They're hot storage. I'm Oh man, just <sighs> fucking remembering the first time I got oh, internet. Like Good old first, AOL. The first time I ever used it. It's how dubstep started. The hell is it? Or a cat in a blender. What are you doing? You stop that right now. Hey man. Not allowed. What time is it? 305, baby. Is it? No yeah. way. No way, bro. I don't believe it. Hey. I can't look at my phone. So, I mean, I'm looking Jeff, at my phone, but I can't look. It is 305. You were supposed to take us on this Mr. Worldwide. How long is this podcast? How long is this podcast right now? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 50 minutes plus. <laughs> I, I don't have enough time to tell my story. I'm going to well, be honest. Well, we're going to have to save it until next week then. Man, I, I saved all the notes, me, bro. I was I was aware enough while it was happening to jot some things down. Okay, now can you please, in the time that we have left, can yeah. you please tease this so I know just a tidbit? So then ne- next week we actually bring it up and not say we're going to tease it, and then not talk about it again next week. It's still on my notes. I'm gonna ha- yeah yes we're gonna. T- we're gonna get this down. I'm talking like the fucking notes. <laughs> acoustic guitar old? fingering. <laughs> okay. All right, that's enough. That's all. Is that it? That's Is that all. enough? That's, 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 that's a game. Game. That's the game winner right there. <laughs> acoustic guitar fingering. We will go ahead right. and get your full story next week. So oh my god. With that being said, oh. that's the best way well, to do it. Well then I was also thinking about if the artist baby face still has a baby face, what do you guys think? I think I he still looks the same. Yeah, I'm pretty sure baby face Nelson had a baby face. No, he did his whole life. He was what like, if he had a baby? <laughs> what does his face look like? He's baby baby face's baby face. <laughs> <laughs> it's a paradox. <laughs> it just it's never ending. That's what I was locked in the other day. Last night, Paradox, and you'll hear all about it next week on the Gentleman's Jail. <laughs> That's what we like to call a cliffhanger in the biz. Ooh, good tease. Good a tease. part one. Hey, guess what, guys? Are we about this to do is, the uh, sound this off? This is available 
want to touch it. Jump That's how we dead. started the new wanna year. Touch it. Uh, you want Ooh. hat? Merch? Where can we get it, Sean? Shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den for all your merch needs. Maybe I'll wear a hoodie quick, next week. Real quick, though, I want to no. just. Pretty There's a lot of bullshit there. going on in the world. And Sean and I know this more than more than most, unfortunately, living out in the county. But I want to say rest in peace to another friend that we lost from a drug overdose. Lendo Slater. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace, Lenny. That sucked. Fucking Man. Sad. Yeah. Another 2021 one. is not off to a good start, but this is where it changes. Not. Everyone's going to do a nice Let's deed tomorrow for someone. And we can do we can only turn this around together. It takes you. And if someone's struggling, man, at least reach out. Some people though are some people are destined for failure. Unfortunately, yeah. One of his uh fr- la- lifelong friends, I've been I hit me up on Facebook and pretty much like I knew he was going to go. Yeah, he. Some people reach that point where there's no coming back. And it's. And this has been a hard year on uh, like everybody. Yeah. So if you know someone that is, you know, in a darker place, be there for him. If you can reach out, you know, try to try to connect. And, you know, sometimes people just need to vent and they don't have anyone to vent to. It feels good to yeah. get stuff off your chest sometimes. Like you said, dude, especially now, it's a tough time for a lot of people. Yeah, everybody's struggling. Everybody's got their own shit going on. But if you got five minutes to lend your ear to somebody, you can save their fucking life, possibly. Even and if you need us, we will be here. the kiosk. Every week. Might be that positive influence. Unless I'm sick. PMA, baby boy. Positive yeah, mental right. attitude. I love you guys. Pay it forward. Really All right. We are you guys too, we man. fight like family, but I fucking love you guys. <laughs> it's okay to have differences and still love each other. That. There is no right. There is no left. There is There's no, no red. right. There is no, There's no wrong. There is no matter what. Us. You you could raise your kids one way, doesn't no matter how you raise them, as long as you raise them with love, it's the right way. There's no wrong way. There's only one race. That's the human race. The human, human race. race. Knowledge, learning channel. All it is all it is. We all is bleed skin, red. All it is is skin pigmentation, folks. We're all people. And another thing that life is, it's about choices. All our choices, no matter what, have consequences. I said it. I can't say consequences. Consequences. He did it. Hey. Just leave it at that. Coincidence. Yeah, I see. I coincidence, you can't say. Consequences you got. <laughs> coincidence is not. <laughs> it's about choices. Make it's, good it's, ones. It's since, it's since we're on this you know, philosophical life journey right now, uh, don't forget, death is the end of the race. So stop looking at the end of the road. Start focusing on what's in front of you. Death might be right the now. beginning. We can go into that. I had a conversation <laughs> with my lady and my mother, and they basically told me to shut the fuck up. Yeah, probably because you were super drunk or high. I was That's super okay. high, and I said that my body is holding me back from what my brain wants to accomplish. <laughs> <laughs> I would have told you to shut the fuck up, too. <laughs> and that's a T-shirt. <laughs> and that's a T-shirt. <laughs> Well, it's so it. true. <laughs> That's a t-shirt, folks. They didn't believe it. <laughs> and coming to the end of this, yeah. <laughs> you can tell it's a late podcast because oh, we're starting going? to fucking ramble. All right, for Jeff, for Frankie, I am Sean. Thank you once again for coming in and listening to our fucking stupidity. Uh, yeah, we love you. And don't forget to go to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. And buy one of Frankie's shirts just so he can feel something. Want to touch it. Or a hat. Or a hat. Or, or a, a fanny, pack. fanny pack. Or a poster. Or those. V-neck, ne- baby. Dude, Hoodies. Just, 
we got it all. Yeah, you got to look in there for the hidden Easter eggs for like the naked pictures of B. Arthur we got on there. There you go. Coming to match.com near you, Francis. I'm going to be on that shit. Frank, call me 2021. Frankie's going to go 2-0-2-1. on. Everything you swipe on, Frankie's on it, including Grand. I'm on that. See, I'm not on there, though, on any of them. But I I will get on there just to talk. If you need to talk, I'll be there. Because he ain't going out until this I'm gonna shit's have to wipe completely all, Like I said, we were talking about, I'm going to have to wipe all my, I'll be my there. socials. Find me your local we'll start grocery it. store pushing carts in. <laughs> in a high vis a time job. We don't know. We don't and, know. I'll, and I'll be the fat guy stealing the grapes. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next week. Grape smuggler.